Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I'll be sharing with you technical insights and coding tutorials to help you along in your coding journey. My name is TJ and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how the web actually works, as in what happens when you go to a website. But first, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button for me and also like this video to help support my channel. And I just want to give a real quick shout out to everybody that's been commenting down below, letting me know that you guys are really enjoying my videos and getting a lot of value from these videos and that these videos are helping to really make things clear for you. Thank you a lot for the feedback and continue to leave your feedback below in the comments. I really appreciate it. Now, I'm going to be explaining to you how the web works in two different ways. The first way is going to be very technical just so I can really introduce to you all of the technical terms that you kind of need to know and then the second way is going to be a lot less technical to better help you to just process things all right so here goes the first explanation anytime that you get on the internet and you go to a website you are actually using a browser a browser is what you use to access the web so examples of browsers are Chrome Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, etc. Those are called browsers and browsers are what you use to surf the web. Now when you are actually on a website like you guys are here now on youtube.com, everything that you are seeing is part of the front end. From the buttons you're clicking to this video that you're watching, the text, the images, everything like all of that is what makes up the front end of a website which is also called the UI which stands for user interface because that is what you, the user, are interacting with. The UI basically presents raw data to you in a format that looks nicer and it's just a lot easier to digest, right? Because again, this video is a video file, but you guys are able to actually watch it because the UI is displaying a video instead of the raw video data. The text that you guys are reading, the create date, all of that is data that the UI is presenting to you in a nice way. And that nice way is just pretty much how you design your website. So anytime that you design a website or that you build a website, what you are doing is actually building how the raw data will be displayed to the users that are gonna visit that website, right? So let's take YouTube for example again, right? Everything is about data. So you guys are here on YouTube watching this video. This video is data. The video title is data. The create date, the number of likes, the comments, the people commenting, like all of that is data. Now, you might be wondering where is all this data coming from? The data is coming from the back end, and that is another important term to know the back end. So you have the front end and the back end. The back end is made up of three parts the database where all of the data is actually stored the server that handles incoming requests for data and returns a response and the actual application like the actual back-end application that you build that determines who and how they can interact with the data in the database the application is what does all of the logic and processing of the incoming requests and then determines what piece of data is needed from the database to fulfill that request. So the job of the front end is to request data from the back end. And when that request is made, it is then picked up by the server, which takes that request and hands it over to the application that then processes that request based on whatever programming logic that you write as a back end engineer, you know, processes that request and then the application retrieves whatever information is needed from the database to fulfill that request, hands it back to the server, and the server returns that response of raw data back to the front end. And the front end takes that raw data and presents it to you in a nice looking website. Does that make sense? Like hopefully I didn't lose you guys there. Comment below to let me know if that actually kind of makes sense and helps you to understand how the web works in terms of all of those different moves moving pieces. All right, so now for the second explanation. So this one is going to be a lot less technical and more high level in terms of, you know, explaining how all of those different moving pieces actually interact. Every time that you go
go to a website, what you are actually doing is making a request for information or data. The back end then basically goes into the database and retrieves whatever information is needed to fulfill the request that you're making and returns that back to the front end. Right now, right? So you guys are on youtube.com. So let's say that you go to youtube.com and you put in the name of my channel. Tolu versus TJ and then hit search, right? So what you are doing when you then hit search or enter is making a request to the back end with that term Tolu versus TJ and the back end sees that information and searches inside of the database for any type of reference that matches Tolu versus TJ. So essentially it is going to be pulling up all of my video information and returning that raw data in terms of the video information, the comments with the videos, the you know associated like create the number of likes, etc. Like all of that raw data is returned back to the front end to be displayed to you the user please comment below to let me know if these explanations actually make sense in terms of helping you to understand how the web works whenever you are interacting on different websites and also comment below any questions that you have just so i can kind of help to better clarify all of these concepts for you if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please subscribe and like this video to support this channel so that i can continue to keep putting out content on technical insights and coding tutorials for you guys and that's it thank you